Okay class, here is the video for figuring out the circle of copper compounds um, and the reaction for each one. So the first thing that we're going to start off with is we are starting off with um, a solid. And how do I know that? Is because we're measuring one gram of it. So if we're measuring one gram, what do we use one gram for? That's going to be a solid. Hopefully it's a little bit of common sense there for you. Um, We'll do, we'll do blue today. Okay, so to start off with pen, pen okay. to start off with, um, I don't know why I just did that. We're starting off with copper two sulfate pentahydrate. So it's Cu SO4 pentahydrate and we're adding H2O and this is a solid I know that obviously water is a liquid so what are we gonna get we're actually just gonna get a solution of copper sulfate and water so it's just gonna be Cu SO4 aqueous now is this balanced yeah that's okay because we know this is dissolved in a solution. Okay, so that's what our starting material is. So we're going to come over here, CuSO4. Um, we are going to add that, and now I am on to step three, and it says allow the solution to cool and then add five milliliters of one molar sodium carbonate, which is Na2CO3 and stir. So we're going to add. And a, no, this is aqueous, and this is going to be Na2CO3, and this is alcohol, also aqueous because we got five milliliters of it. So, what type of reaction is this going to be? Well, we have two compounds. We have a metal and a nonmetal, metal and a nonmetal. So, it's going to be a double replacement. So, we're going to have Cu which is a plus two charge, combining with CO3, which is a minus two, plus sodium, which is going to be Na, which is a plus one charge, and sulfate, SO4, which is a minus two. So we can do crisscross, nothing's gonna happen there. Crisscross, gonna bring a two down here. Now, this right here, by looking at your solubility rules, if you read them, that long list that I gave you, and if you don't have this long list and don't know what I'm talking about, it is over by the periodic table underneath it. Underneath the periodic table on the wall. And we're going to look at carbonates. Carbonates are, it's number eight on there. Carbonates are frequently insoluble. Well, this is a carbonate, so we know that that's going to be insoluble. So that's going to be a solid. And then we have sodium sulfate. And sulfates are number five. And it says most are sulfate salts are soluble. So this is going to be aqueous. So since this is still in solution, what's gonna is it gonna react with it? No. So this is gonna end up reacting. So this is our next reactant, which is gonna be CuCO3, and that's a solid. And what are we adding to that next? Well, we are adding three to four milliliters of HCl, hydrochloric acid. Well, we know it's an acid, so that has to be aqueous. And again, this is a double replacement reaction. So we're gonna have Cu, which is a plus two charge, Cl, minus one charge, so crisscross, that's gonna come down. And then we're going to add H, that's a plus one charge, CO3, minus two charge, crisscross, bring a two down here. So is this balanced? No, we need to add a two right there. That needs to be added to make sure that it is completely balanced. So now we have two H's on this side, two H's on this side, two CL's on this side, and two CL's on that side. Now, this is going to be carbonic acid, right? Remember from our naming acids, so that's going to be aqueous. Now this chloride. How do we know if it's soluble or not? If it's a solid, liquid, or gas? Well, we gotta find it on the periodic table. And it says, this is number three, the salts containing Cl, Br, and I are generally, solu genu 
generally soluble, excuse me. Important exceptions to this rule are halide salts of Ag, Pb2, and mercury um, as well. Okay. So is this going to be soluble? No, it's not. It's an exception. So that's going to be a solid. So we're going to have this CuCl2 solid is our next reactant. And it's going to react with, what are we putting in it? Sodium hydroxide. And that is a base. And I know that's aqueous as well because it's a base. So, again, a double replacement reaction. Cu is a plus 2. OH is a minus 1. Crisscross, we've got to have two of these. Plus our NaCl. Plus 1 charge, minus 1 charge. This is just table salt, so we know that that's going to dissolve, so that's going to be aqueous. And then our hydroxides. This is number 6. Most hydroxide salts are slightly soluble. Hydroxide salts from group 1 elements are soluble. Hydroxide salts from group 2 elements, Ca, Cr, and Ba, are slightly soluble. Hydroxide salts from transition metals are insoluble. So this is an exception, so that's going to be solid. Is it balanced? We have two Cls here, only one here. We need to put a 2 there. So we have two Na's over here, only one on this side. Let's put a 2 there. And now we have two OHs, two OHs. Now it is completely balanced. Let's, see, let's just scroll down a little bit. Come on, move down. Okay. So we know our products for the next part. Here's our products for the next part. So we have Cu, OH, 2, solid. And last thing we are adding, we are gently heating, gently heating, 20 minutes, heating, 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 add a little bit of water, don't need to worry about that. Last thing we are adding is H2SO4, sulfuric acid. So we have Cu plus 2 charge, sulfate, SO4, minus 2 charge, crisscross, nothing happens. Plus we have H with a plus 1 charge and OH with a minus 1 charge. So with that, crisscross, nothing happens. Now we got to make sure it's balanced. We have two H's on this side, so we need to make sure that there's two over here. Now is everything balanced? Yeah, we have two OH's. So now we have two OH's, we have two H's, two H's, everything's balanced. Now is this the same as what we started with? Yes it is. Therefore it is the circle of copper. Copper is just getting used over and over and over again. So please just use this video to go ahead and check your answers. Hopefully you understand it. If you do not understand it, please come in tomorrow morning or Thursday morning if you watch this tonight. Please come in and ask me how to do this again. Thank you so much. Have a great day.